Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another movie reaction. Today, Clerks. Now, I love Kevin Smith to bits, but I think the only movie I've seen of his is Dogma. I've seen him in interviews and talking about other movies, but I haven't seen any of his movies besides Dogma, and I wasn't sober while I was watching Dogma. I wasn't drinking. But I wasn't sober. Um, <laughs> do you say that when you're high? Anyway, uh, so I thought I would give um, Kevin Smith's movies a shot now that I'm a 30-something old man. Um, yeah, like I said, I do like Kevin Smith. I think he's a really cool dude. Um, I've seen Dogma once and I thought I'd give Clerks a go. And I'm just, I'm just repeating myself, but anyway, yeah, I love Kevin Smith, I loved him on movie fights and in, interviews and, and all that stuff, and the, the show where he was opening toys, he's a really funny and a really smart man, um, so yeah, I thought I would, enough, enough fellatio in Kevin Smith will actually watch his movie, um, <laughs> Just getting rid of that nervous energy in the intro, you see. So, yeah, um, basically, I'm in love with Kevin Smith, and I want to have his babies. So, if you're watching Kevin, which I know you're not, because you've got lots of more interesting things to do than watch this moron uh, watch your movie. So, yeah, um, Kevin, I'll have your babies. Uh, if you could just let Kevin know that, that would be great. Um, yeah. Um, Patreon link down below if you want to see the full unedited reaction, um, an hour and 39 minutes of me just doing this. So, yeah, you're welcome in advance. Um, yeah, uh, let's just get in this now and have some fun. I don't know what this is, but, um, it's creepy. I'd like to take back my previous, previous statement and say I'm... Oddly aroused at the clown lady. And that's not even the movie, that's just the, the title. The, the, the company. It's in black and white. Yeah, was this made? <laughs> you know, you're starting your day off well when you slept in a cupboard. Uh, what? No, I don't work today. I'm playing hockey at two. Why don't you call Randall? Because I'm fucking tired. <laughs> that is the perfect reason to not work. To be fair, it is like. Be there by 12? Swear. Swear you'll be there by 12 and I'll do it. 12 or I walk. He's a better man than me because I wouldn't have done it at all. I'm not even going to lie. I'd be like, nah. I had my fair share of um, jobs that I hated that I literally did the minimum amount of effort for. And I'm not even kidding. Literally did nothing. As much as I could get away with. Now I've worked harder than I've ever worked in my life. Because I edit these things. <laughs> I like that. It doesn't even have time to um, actually get a bowl or a cup. Was that tea he was making? I don't know. Do you really want to buy those cigarettes? Are you serious? How long have you been smoking? What is this, a pull? How long have you been today? a smoker? I don't know, since I was about 13. 13. Let's say you're about 19, 20. Am I right? What in the hell is that? That's your lung. By this time, your lung looks like this. Why is this dude just carrying a lung around with him? What's this? It's a trach ring. It's what they install in your throat when throat cancer takes your voice box. This one came out of a 60-year-old man. Oh, God. Why are you just carrying body parts around with you like it's normal? Here, chew these gum. Try this. It's not the same. It's cheaper than cigarettes, and it certainly beats this. Oh, Jesus. It's a picture of a cancer-ridden lung. Do you just carry around these body parts with you, trying choice. to prevent people from Keep smoking? Jay and Silent Bob from Dogma. <laughs> No, fucking tonight we're gonna rip off this fucker's head, take out his fucking soul. 
Your mom even tries to buy something for me. I'm going to shit in the motherfucker's bag. <laughs> What's up, baby? We all know somebody like him, don't we? We really do. Spending what? 20 maybe $30 a week on your cigarettes? <laughs> 40 53 $53 a week. Well, I've got this black lung. And say, please, Mr. Merchant of Death, sir, please. Sell me something that'll stick up my breath and my clothes and fry my lungs? No, wait a second. Yeah. This was this guy's day off, man. He doesn't need this. You definitely are the source in this area, and we're going to shut you down for good. For good <laughs> cancer, merchant. <laughs> <laughs> he literally just turned up to his minimum wage job. Let's see some credentials. Slowly. <laughs> You're a Chulis gum representative? <laughs> and you're stirring up all this anti-smoking sentiment. Do what? Sell more gum? Wow, smart. I mean, why is he carrying a lung around with him, though? Where did he get it from? <clears throat> uh, pack of cigarettes? <laughs> this is good so far. Don't you have a hockey game at two? Yes, and I'm gonna play like shit because I didn't have a good night's sleep. Why'd you agree to come in then? Hey, I'm only here until 12. After that, I'm gone. The boss comes and in. And why did you sleep in your cupboard or closet or whatever you want to call it in America? Thanks. How much money did you leave up there? Mm, like $3 in mixed change and a couple of singles. This time in the morning, people just get paper or coffee. You trusting? Why do you say that? How do you know they're taking the right amount of change or even paying for what they take. Theoretically, people see money on the counter and no one around, they think they're being watched. Why do you smell like shoe polish? Oh, I needed shoe polish to make that sign out there. The smell won't come off. To me, and I, I don't know why, but I'm getting Quentin Tarantino vibes with this. The dialogue and stuff like that. And I mean, that's obviously a great thing. Making a male climax isn't at all challenging. Insert somewhere close, preferably moist, thrust, repeat. A flattering. Now, making a woman come, therein lies a challenge. Oh, you think so? A woman makes a guy come, it's standard. A guy makes a woman come, it's talent. And I actually date you? Well, I'm a talented son of a gun then, apparently. <laughs> or all women are liars. Either or. That's a joke. You only slept with three different people? I'm not the pig you are. Who? You! No, who are the three besides me? <laughs> John Franson and Rob Stanslick. I mean, does it matter who they were? That's why you should feel like a pig. You might make me feel sick. You'll sleep with anything that says yes. Animal, mineral, or vegetable. Vegetable, <laughs> meaning paraplegic. <laughs> After dropping a bomb. Hey, if they can use that machine to say yes, it's all good, right? Oh, shit. Why are you getting up? Unlike you, I have a class in 45 minutes. That was one take, man. That was, that was good. I really enjoyed that. That whole scene was one take. That's... That takes some learning some lines. That was Snowball. Why do you call him that? After he gets a blowjob, he likes to have it spit back into his mouth while kissing. It's called snowballing. Oh, nah. What's this? It gets off on Not it. a fan, like... Still didn't get me talked into anything. That's, that's your, your... It's your property now. I give it to you. You don't need to give me that back. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you sucked that guy's dick? Yeah, how do you think I knew that he... Wait, but you said you only had sex with three different guys. You never mentioned him. Because I never had sex with him. You sucked his dick. Oh, my God. Why did you tell me you only had sex with three different guys? Because I did only have sex with three different guys. That doesn't mean I didn't just go with people. <laughs> oh, our logic's flawed, like. All the other guys I went with before I met you. So if you want to have a complex about it, go ahead. But don't look at me like I'm the town whore because you were plenty busy yourself. Before you met me. Well, well, I, mean, you have to suck I mean, why couldn't you sleep with them like any other decent? Her life before him is her business, and the same for him. But she slapped him upside the head for 12. Every time I kiss you, I'm going to taste 36 other guys. <laughs> I'm going to school. Later, you bit more rational. I'm 37. I just Goodbye, Dante. Oh, 37 other guys. Lovely. Hey, try not to suck any dick on the way through the parking lot. <laughs> Oh man, that is good. That is good. How long did you date Caitlin? Five years. Chick only made you nuts, man. She cheated on you how many times? Eight and a half. Eight and a half? Party at John K's senior year. I get blitz, pass out in his bedroom. Caitlin comes in and jumps all over me. So that's cheating? No, in the middle of it, she called me Brad. She called you Brad? She called me Brad. Eight and a half times, wow. Uh, yeah, hi, this is RST Video Calling. 
customer number 4352. Okay, I need one each of the following tapes. My pipes need cleaning. All tit fucking volume eight. Ass worshiping rim jobbers. <laughs> So porn was uh, a big seller even back then. Well, what part of Russia are you from? Moscow. He only speaks Russian? Nah, I speak some English, but he cannot speak it good like we do. Olaf, metal. That's his fucking metal face. Olaf, girl, <laughs> nice. That's fucked. I mean, is, was this like a student film or something? Because um, some of the actors, they, they, they ain't that good. Would you like some making fuck bells, <laughs> That's fucking funny, man. Did he say making fuck? Did he say making fuck? Just wow. Wow, wow, lady. Wow. <laughs> I mean, she might have gone on to do bigger and better things. What did you like better? Jedi or the Empire Strikes Back? Empire. Blasphemy. Empire the better end? Yeah, it's definitely Empire. Definitely. The first Death Star was manned by the Imperial Army. The only people on board were stormtroopers, dignitaries, Imperials. And the second time around? The second time around, it wasn't even done being built yet. It was still under construction. <laughs> wow, they killed a lot of innocent people, man. Sir. What? Are either one of these any good? I don't watch movies. <laughs> well, have you heard anything about either one of these? The fuck's Empire like in Return of the Jedi? They're not movies. Screw you! Hey, you're not allowed to rent here anymore. Yeah! I mean, he's just coasting and doing the bare minimum. Got to respect the guy because, uh, yeah, I was the same, man. It was really the same working a job I hated, getting paid less than I deserved. Bare minimum, that's what you got. <laughs> You always remember your first cigarette, don't you? You think you get stupid questions? You should hear the barrage of stupid questions I get. What do you mean there's noise? You mean I gotta drink this coffee hot? So how much is this thing anyway? <laughs> <laughs> do you sell hotcats for 72 Pinto hatchback? Oh, Jesus Christ, yep. That 101 got cancelled, so I stopped home and I brought you some lunch. What is it? Peanut butter and jelly with the crust cut off. What do you think it is? It's lasagna. Really? Oh, you're the queen. I'm glad you've calmed down a bit. Hi, Randall. 37. Shut up. <laughs> yes, I've calmed down. I'm not happy, but I'll be able to deal. It's still 37, though, right? You haven't sucked anyone off, like, since you left, right? Thank you for being rational. Thank you for the lasagna. I mean, I'd forgive anyone for a lasagna, like, to be fair. Could have, could have murdered me whole family and brought us lasagna. I'd be like, okay, we're all good. Thanks. Hey, I just want to play hockey like I was scheduled to. Hey, Dante, I'm going to grab a Gatorade, all right? If you grab a Gatorade, then everybody's going to grab one. So? So who's going to pay for these Gatorades? What do you care, you shoe polish smelling motherfucker? Hey, I... <laughs> you know, the insides of those has got stuff that can give you cancer. So I'm told. Yeah. I had a friend that chewed glass for a living at the circus. And you got cancer from chewing fluorescent bulb glass? Nah. Got hit by a bus. <laughs> Why was he chewing glass in the circus, though? Who wants to see that? Say, so, uh, what kind of toilet paper you got back there? <laughs> the white kind? I didn't ask about the color. I mean, is it uh, rough or is it uh, cottony? Is it soft for my ass? Hey, young fella, I hate to bother you again, but uh, maybe I could have... Something in the back there to read and paper or something. <laughs> oh, you gotta watch the store. I gotta go to this. Wait, 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 wait. Has it ever occurred to you that I might be bereaved as well? You hardly knew her. True. But do you know how many people are gonna be there? All of our old classmates, to say the least. Oh, stop it. This is beneath even you. I'm not gonna miss what's probably gonna be the social event of the season. You hate people. So this is where the origin of Wedding Crash House came from. <laughs> It's a bad idea to close the store. Listen to you. I can't help it. At least when we were playing hockey on the roof, I could see if anybody wanted to go in. Nobody's there. It's four o'clock on a Saturday. How many people ever come to the store at four on a Saturday? <laughs> it's like a scene out of Dawn of the Dead. You knocked the casket over for 
I say? I was just leaning on it. It was an accident. I'm like someone knocks a casket over on purpose? So the casket fell over. Big deal. Her fucking body fell out. I'm put her back in it. It's not like it matters if she breaks something. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. The reason you won't let me use your car is because I have a title and a job description. I'm supposed to follow it, right? Exactly. Yeah, I saw one one time that said, the next week the world is ending. And in the next week's paper they said, we were miraculously saved at the zero hour by a koala fish mutant bird. Oh, well, thank God for that koala fish mutant bird. Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't be here reacting to this right now if it wasn't for that. <laughs> Sounds to me like somebody needs to hit the gym. Excuse me? I heard you strain when you picked up that milk. You can only weigh seven pounds. I didn't strain, I sighed. <laughs> Mate, he's, he's probably making less than minimum wage. He sighed. He's got those love handles. I don't have love handles. Were you working here about four o'clock? Yes. It's fine for being around all this food every day. Oh, I know. If I had to work here all day, I'd be bloated and out of shape too. I mean, I don't work in this store, but I'm bloated and out of shape. But I just like to eat while I'm editing, and I spend a lot of time editing. I don't want to deal with the guy that sells cigarettes to four-year-olds. I, uh, give you a lift somewhere. Sure. How about the beach? I like the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boy shorts. How'd you get home? Train. It took eight hours. Oh, I can't believe you're here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dude, she's banged about a thousand dudes while with you. Why, why, why are you doing this to yourself? <laughs> oh, we all know a person like Jay, don't we? We really do. I'm sorry, but when we started talking, it was like I forgot I had a boyfriend. And then he proposed last month. And you said yes. Well, kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Well, no, you did. It's in the paper, lady. My mother told the paper we were engaged. Oh, okay, I see. I mean, then why don't you break it off with him if you don't want to be with him? I love a macho facade. It is such a turn on. What smells like shoe polish? <laughs> the shoe polish joke still lands, man. It's good. Well, if I'm so nuts about you, then why am I having sex with an Asian design major? Oh, Jesus, you're so caustic. Well, how about the Caitlin Bree walk on the boardwalk, then get naked somewhere kind of private date? I hear that's kind of a popular date. <laughs> I mean, I, I do like the 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 fact that it's a lot of just one shots. There's no like cutting. I think it's really good. Hey, what happened to the uh, walk and the nakedness? I'm easy, but I'm not that easy. See you later, handsome. So I mean, was it budget reasons why they were literally just locking the camera down and just shooting because they only had a set amount of days? I mean, I think it works in their favor because. It is, it's still interesting, and it just goes to show that they learn a lot of the lines, like, really well. Caitlin came to see me. Now I know you're lying. I'm not, she just left. What'd she say? She said she's Maybe it was a fever dream, maybe he's finally snapped. Hey, you know, you and I have something in common. We both eat Chinese. <laughs> exactly. So where is he? <laughs> we home to change for the big date. Hey, Caitlin's in the back, you might want to check on her. She's been back there a long time. There are no lights back there. I told her that. She said she didn't need any. Why don't you go join her? Make a little batch and bam bam. Oh, I love your sexy talk. It's so kindergarten. Wow, I've just noticed that sweat art. Jesus Christ. Definitely a sign of the times, that. You always talk this weird after you violate a woman. Maybe the Asian design major slipped her some opium. Could be. Then you just lay perfectly still and let me do everything. Am I missing something here? Okay. Whoa, she's been in that toilet that and day, fucked some dude. Was, God, that was so great. <laughs> My legs are still shaking. Who was it me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Who was it then, Randall? Was it Not him. Are you sure there was someone back there? Well, I didn't just fuck myself. Jesus Christ. God, I'm going to be sick. You just fucked a total stranger. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Call the police. No, don't. Because there's a stranger in our bathroom. He just raped Caitlin. Oh, she God. said she did all the work. Well, technically, she did all the work, so no. Who is he? Uh, I don't know. He just came in and asked to use the bathroom. What time was this? I don't know. What time did I get? Well, if he was alive, it would have been fun, but nope, she just did a corpse. The body 
Charlie can maintain an erection after expiration, sometimes for hours. Did he have the adult magazine when he came in? Oh, uh, no, I, I gave it to him. She give him, he give him the magazine, some toilet roll, he died and he got a shag. It was a good day for that dude. What's with you man? You haven't said anything for like 20 minutes. What the hell's your problem? His ex, who was now his girlfriend, just slept with a corpse mate. I'd, I'd be perplexed and silent for a little bit too. My ex-girlfriend is catatonic after fucking a dead guy. And my present girlfriend has sucked 36 dicks. 37. 37, oh, yep. <laughs> Including yours. Oh, what? The dead guy? She'll get over fucking a dead guy. Shit, my mom's been fucking a dead guy for 30 years. I call him dead. Okay, <laughs> what is a dad? Never had one of those. What is a dad? My mother told me once that when I was three years old, my potty lid was closed. And instead of me lifting it, I shit my pants. Lovely story. <laughs> the point is, I'm not the type of person who'll disrupt things just so I can shit comfortably. Yeah, clearly, mate. I can see that. Yeah, what happened with that old guy? He died in the bathroom. Well, I heard he was jerking off or something. I don't know. I he was, with a free magazine and nice toilet roll. You know, there's a million fine-looking women in the world, dude, but they don't all bring you lasagna at work. Most of them just cheat on you. Come on, lad dick. You still didn't have to choke me. Oh, please. I'm surprised I didn't kill you. Why do you say that? Why do I say that? Randall... Forget it. Oh, really? What did I do that was so wrong? What? I mean, it's been a hell of a day for them, to be fair. Like, funeral, hockey, corpse... I'm not even supposed to be here today. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, pal. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, he's really not. He's really not supposed to be there today. You like to think the weight of the world rests on your shoulder. Like this place would fall apart if Dante wasn't here. Jesus, you overcompensate for having what's basically a monkey's job. If you push fucking <laughs> buttons, anybody could waltz in here and do our jobs. I'd love it if monkeys did these jobs, to be fair. That would be a lot funnier. Going to the hospital, visit Caitlin, and then I'm try to talk to Veronica. You want to grab a bite to eat or something when you're done? Don't visit the hospital, just talk to Veronica. It's very clear what you should be doing. Here comes Randall, he's a berserker. Na, 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> you're closed. I mean, they have the worst and best kind of friendship, these two, to be fair. I really, really enjoyed this. It was literally just a day in the life of somebody at work, and then it was just filled with random people, which it happens when you work in these stores. You see a lot of different people, and some of them are very, very weird, man. I mean, I've had that working in a, a garage. I've had weird people come in. I've had someone come in with one shoe before, and I was like, well... What led to that? Why are you wearing one shoe? But you, you, you don't ask these people because you just don't really care enough. You just want to do the bare minimum and go the fuck home. And then repeat that the, the day after and the day after. And then you, you get two days where you just don't have to work. And you fill that with shit that you actually like doing. Like nothing. Do you know what I mean? But it, it totally captured that disdain for your job. But you're also stuck in that place where you can't do anything about it because you need the money you get just to survive. So it's basically the story of that. But you get you've got you know a funeral where you caught finger and a woman by mistake, and a, a woman who, who's cheated on you nine and a half times now um, because she slept with a corpse, and a girl who was literally there for you doing everything she was just cooking for you she was being nice to you she's there for you and it just wasn't enough because in our own way we're always trying to self-destruct it seems i mean that's the way i look at it personally but it it perfectly captured that need not well yeah it's you need to work because you've got to survive but you don't want to work so you're basically just coasting along doing the bare minimum, and that is your life for a long time until something snaps in your head. You're like, well, I can't keep doing this. I need to change. I need to, to get some sort of life outside of whatever this hell is. And I think it was done really well. Like I said, I liked the shots where it was just... I mean, it might have just been budgetary or, or time, I don't know, where it was just... the It was like the camera was locked down on a tripod and they just did the scene. But 
It just goes to show that everyone involved, even though some of them weren't the greatest actors, everyone involved took it seriously because they knew their lines. And there was very tiny little issues with that because like some of the characters would like flub a line a little bit. But they just went with it. And it's obviously filmmaking. I mean, I've made a few terrible short films myself. I know how much goes into it. I know how much work goes into it. So it was obviously his first big film, or maybe this was his first ever film. I don't I don't know. I'll have to check IMDb. But he did a great job. And it was interesting. The dialogue was great. It kept us going. It, it, it kept us watching. If it was terrible dialogue and it was just one shot, people would get bored. And I, I didn't. I wasn't bored through any of this. I actually really, really enjoyed the movie. And when this is over, I'll go back and watch it again. Because obviously in a reaction, you miss things because you're paying attention to it. But you're also talking. I mean, that's what a reaction is. But yeah, I mean, I really enjoyed it. I know there's a second one and maybe there's a third one coming out soon. Uh, so yeah, if you've enjoyed this reaction, then... Um, Please let me know, and I'll, I'll I'll do Clerks 2, and I'll do the third one if, uh, well, when that comes out, I'm sure that's, or is it Mole Rats 3? I, d I don't know. I'll, have, I'll, I'll check. I'm waffling. But yeah, overall, I really like the movie. I think it was fun. I like the film. Some people like it's the same film. Um, Jane, Silent Bob, I love, well, I mean, I love Kevin Smith, like I said, so it was great seeing them, and he literally had one line of dialogue in a movie, and it was just like, yeah, this is Take take notice because like this woman is doing everything and yeah pining over a woman who try to like shit, so yeah I think it was great and um yeah if you enjoyed it like I said let me know and I shall react to clerks too thanks for coming out and I'll see you all again soon for more reaction videos.